Hey guys, it's Robin, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got what I've been warming. So I'm gonna go through what I've been warming in my house over the last couple weeks since I last filmed one of these to let you know what I warmed, how it did, and how it might do in your home. So I have been melting up a storm the last couple weeks of autumn here. Um, where I live, it's actually turned to winter just yesterday. It has been snowing for two days now. We have a good layer of snow on the ground. It's not expected to melt. We are in winter. So I know it's early for most areas, but up here in Northern Canada, we have winter a little bit earlier than most places. Um, so yeah. So I have been enjoying the last couple weeks of autumn with melting. And now I'm kind of gearing in towards more wintry scents as we uh, kind of start the winter, but we're not really into the holidays yet. So it's kind of this kind of odd melting time. Anyways, a couple things before we get started. I just wanted to let you know that the Hogwarts, Christmas at Hogwarts, Harry Potter warmer, the holiday one is available this morning. It is the one that's very similar to the regular year round Harry Potter warmer, except this one is an element warmer. It's got a white and blue color scheme and it has a projection that kind of projects onto the wall behind it. It's very pretty. I'll put a picture here somewhere. Um, it's available as of right now. So if you're interested in that, go check it out. And with that, we'll jump right into the warm reviews here. So I have been warming all kinds of things. We'll start with the bathroom because it's closest to me here. I have warmed Fall Into Love. I did a cube of this in each bathroom. This is in the Harvest Collection. This is available. This one is like a nice kind of transition fall to winter scent. It's a kind of a pine tree. It's got a bit of a berry note to it. I think there's orange in the notes. So this one is a little bit sharper than say Sleigh Ride. Sleigh Ride, I would say, Sleigh Ride's in the Holiday Collection. Sleigh Ride has more berry and I would say it's cranberry. This one has a hint of berry, but this one is a bit sharper. I think it's the orange note in um, Fall Into Love here. I don't know. I think if you liked if you liked Icicles and Evergreen, I think you would like this. If you liked Pretty and Plaid, you'd probably like this. Um, I enjoy this okay. It's not one I'll get more of. I just, I'm kind of hit or miss on pine tree scents myself. So that one was nice. I enjoyed it. And performance on that one is a couple days in the bathrooms and about a medium strength. So about an average performer. Next we did Peppermint Rush. This is a original bar. This one's actually back in the Sense of the Season collection right away here. So that one's gonna be available November 1st. Um, Peppermint Rush, I did this in bathrooms and bedroom actually. This one is just a nice mint scent. It's got mint and vanilla, I think it is. I did this in bathrooms this time. This one is just a kind of minty scent. Some people get toothpaste from this. I typically don't. But when I warm this in the bathroom, I do. <laughs> I think it's because I associate toothpaste and mint with the bathroom. So that's what I smell when I warm this in the bathroom. When I warm this in the bedroom, I don't get toothpaste from it. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> this one's a nice couple day performer as well. I would say about a medium strength after it's sat a while. I think I remember this one being a bit shorter duration when I first got it brand new. But now that it's been sitting for some time since I got it and bring back my bar last, um, this one is a bit better performer. So that one I may or may not repurchase. Next we have one I absolutely love. This was in my melting basket for the month. It is not available and I don't know if we'll ever see this again. I kind of hope it gets voted back one day. This was a scent of the month a couple years ago. This is Stargazing. And this one is like cotton blossoms and jasmine and vanilla. And this is the most cuddly cozy, like grown up, rounded out, smoothed out version of Jammy Time. Jammy Time is a lot. It is a very potent, powerful laundry scent. This one is like rounded and smooth and it just has no sharp edges. It's just cuddly, cozy and soft. I love stargazing. And this one is one of the best performers since he does in my opinion. So this one goes for days and days and days. I think this lasted like, I wanna say close to a week. This one went for ages. So we love stargazing. A little goes a long way. And uh, yeah, that one was good. It's a like medium plus intensity. So I'd say like a seven out of 10 in strength and a very, very, very long lasting scent. So if I could get more stargazing, I absolutely would. But a little goes a long way, so a bar lasts a long time with that one. Next up, onto my daughter's room. We did some Polar Bear Hug. This is a currently available fall winter catalog scent. This one is just nice. This one is like, I think there's like caramelized sugar in here. There's like blackberry. There's all kinds of stuff, but the impression overall is sweet and clean and cozy. So it's a little bit cuddly. It's like, it's cuddly cozy without being laundry, but it is still fresh. Somehow it's fresh without being laundry, but it also has a hefty dose of sweetness from that caramelized brown sugar. And there's like almost like a blackberry note here as well. This one is beautiful. 
it's hard to describe. It's one you just have to smell. I think this would be fairly widely appealing to most people. Um, my daughter, however, does not care for this one anymore. This is one that I used to warm in her bedroom all the time, and so I associate the scent with her room. Um, she told me she doesn't like this one anymore, so broke my heart a little bit, but she is growing up and getting her own opinions, so this is one I won't warm in her room again. But yeah, this is one I'll warm in my room again. I think if you like Polar Bear Hug, the new Forever Flannel in the Bricks is one you should try. Um, Forever Flannel has more of a lavender note, so it's a bit more grown up than Polar Bear Hug. This one smells very kid-friendly to me, um, but if you like one, I think you'll like the other. So if you've tried Forever Flannel and you love it, I think you should try Polar Bear Hug and vice versa. So Polar Bear Hug is again a good performer, I would say at least a medium strength in like a bedroom size space. And this one went for again like two, three days. So good performer in her room. Her room tends to hold on to wax very well. Next we did one that is new, it's a new scent in the Scents of the Season collection coming out November 1st. This is Frosted White Pine. This is the pine tree scent of that collection. Um, this one, I think the notes are like fresh air, pine, and, and is there mint there? It's definitely fresh airy and pine. There is a hefty, hefty men's body care note here though, that is not in the notes that I personally don't care for. My daughter liked this one, so I put it in her room. Um, my husband, however, absolutely despised this one. He actually asked me to take it out and he is very, very non-picky with wax. He doesn't have a whole lot to say about wax in general, but this one, he was like, what is that? It smells like my grade seven, whatever my grade seven boys spray all the time that I need to tell them to stop spraying. So I think he thinks it smells like Axe body spray or whatever body spray young kids are using at this point in time. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not hip enough to know, but it smells like men's body care to me. And he says it smells exactly like the stuff that his, <laughs> his grade sevens are always spraying around the classroom. So um, if you are into like men's masculine type scents, you may enjoy this. Um, to me, it does lean quite body care, especially on warm. I would say the cologne note or the men's men's fragrance note came out more on warm. My daughter really liked it. Strength wise, this was very good. I would say at least a seven out of 10. It left her room, it wafted and it threw around the hallway and everything else. So throw was good, performance was good. Duration, it only went for 24 hours because we couldn't bear to keep it in longer than that. And that's rare for us. So yeah, this one is going to be going into my reject bin, um, which doesn't happen often, but life is too short for bad wax. So this one is going to be a pass for us. It's not a bad scent. It is not a stinky scent. It is just one that isn't for us. If you're into pine tree scents, or if you're into especially more masculine type scents, you're probably going to really like this. It is a fresh pine tree, slightly men's body care type scent. There's nothing wrong with this scent, it's just got negative associations for my husband, and um, it's just not for me. So there is that one. Performance though, good. I can see how it would be some people's cup of tea, absolutely. Um, next we have Candy Dandy. This was one from a swap with my friend Sara in New Zealand. This was a bring back my bar in New Zealand a while ago, I think. This one is just really, really nice. So my daughter wanted this one in her room. This is a sweet candy scent. It was kind of on the light side, I would say like a four to 10 in strength, like a light medium. Um, it was a one dare, but it was so, so pleasant. It was just like this lovely sweet candy scent. This one does have almost like a saltwater taffy scent to it in a very nice way. And almost like even a hint of like lollipop. You know those old school, really big lollipops that are like rainbow colored and they're like kind of swirly. This smells like those when they're wet. So like after you've like eaten half of it and it's all like wet and sticky, it smells kind of like that with like strawberry salt water taffy. This was very, very pleasant. I really liked this. I would get more if I could. So that was really fun. So thank you, Sara. Next we did one from the Breast Cancer Awareness Collection. This is Turn Up the Pink. This is one of the ones from that collection we did really enjoy. And this one is actually getting a bit better performing on after just sitting for even a few weeks. So I think if you got these and found them light in the early access, they're getting a little stronger with time, just a, just a hair. Yeah, this one's nice. This is a kind of feminine, girly, perfumey type scent, kind of like a body mist type scent. Um, vaguely floral, but very sweet, very approachable. Um, kind of reminds me of something along the lines of like shimmer maybe. Um, I think if you like shimmer, you would like this. Yeah, it's pleasant, very nice. Um, one I don't know if I need more of, but I do enjoy it, and it was nice in my daughter's room. This was a two-day scent, I would say a four or five out of ten in strength, so like a light medium to medium, um, but really nice. Next in her room, we've got Dream Big Princess. This is one that is not currently available. Um, it should be back at some point, I think. 
Um, but this one had like bubble gum and all kinds of citrusy notes. Yeah, this one's okay. On cold, this one is just kind of like a perfumey bubblegum citrus. On warm, this one's really good and my daughter loves this one. So it's very little kid friendly, it's very girly. Um, it's perfect for a kid's room, it's, it's great. And performance is pretty good on this one in her room. So I would say five or six out of 10 in strength and it goes for about two days. So that is this one for her room. I think it's gone longer in her room before, just depends on the environmental conditions and whether the furnace is on. Now that the furnace is on more, it's not quite as long lasting as it was before. So there's that one. Next we have the section where I've melted the most. So this is the open layout. And so first we have cashmere leaves. This is part of our harvest collection. It is currently available and this has gone into my club. I don't want to be without this one. I love this one. And yeah, again, this is another one where the performance, the longevity when I first got this one was not the best. But now that this bar has sat a while, the longevity was nothing to complain about. It was 24 hours, it was fine. And the strength was like six or seven out of 10 in my open layout. So a good solid medium to medium plus intensity, reasonably average longevity. I have nothing bad to say about this bar and I love the scent. It's like this beautiful cooked apple spice, homey scent. It's just, oh, I love this one. So this is a favorite. My husband likes this one a lot too. So this is a favorite for us. This was a home run. This one went into the club and will probably never leave. I hope we get this in the catalog next year, honestly. Next, I did my last bar of cranberry pumpkin spice. I did this on the day after Thanksgiving dinner. So this was one that we just threw in and it was so pleasant. It's kind of a gentle pumpkin spice scent, like classic pumpkin spice, a little sweet, a little bit spiced, but not overly spiced. And the cranberry is very much a background scent. It's a fruity cranberry, not a tart cranberry, kind of sweet. We really enjoyed this. And this one, when it first came out a couple years ago as part of the Harvest Collection, this was quite a light bar. Um, it has aged into something much better performing. It was a good solid 24 hours at a good solid medium strength. So I wish I had more of this one. I don't know that it would be a club bar for me. I don't think I would warm enough of it for, be, for it to be a club bar, but I do wish I had more. And this is beautiful. If I ever see this again in like a flash sale or something, I will pick it up. Next, I did one from Zape. This is All Hallows Eve. This one is one I just ordered last year. This is creamy caramel, spiced apple cider, and sweet black licorice. That licorice is a wild card note, and I don't know, I didn't love this one. This one smells like celery. It just smells like fresh chopped up celery. I get the caramel, there is sweetness here. I don't get apple cider, and I kind of get the licorice, but it it's celery. So I don't know, this one just my nose did not enjoy. I just, yeah, this one lasted quite a while though. Um, I would say medium strength and this went 24 hours before I gave up and took it out. <laughs> um, I did let it go for 24 hours, but after that I was like, I just need to be done with this one. So it could have gone longer, performance was good that way, but I just didn't care for the scent. So that would be a not a purchase for me. I do like the Zape brand though, I recommend them, especially their coffee scents. Zape's coffee scents are the best I've found. So there's that. Cherry's Jubilee, this is part of the holiday collection right now. This one, I've got a warm review up on my channel a couple, few videos back. This one is just a bright, juicy cherry scent. This one is very strong out the gate, like a seven or eight out of 10 in strength. It doesn't last more than a few hours though. It's very, very short duration, but very, very strong. So if you want like a really big powerhouse of a bar that's gonna put out a ton of scent really fast, this is that, but it's not gonna be for a long time. It's here for a good time, not a long time. So Cherry's Jubilee, that one, I will probably get another bar or two, but then I'll be done with that one. So Cherry's Jubilee is good. It's just a very specific type of type of melt that way. It's very cherry fruity. I almost get summer vibes from that one. Next, we have Halloween Town. This did not come back this year. This one is so good. This one is kind of like a spiced, earthy berry scent. When this one is new, people say it smells like grape and I kind of get that. When it's new, it does have more of a grape tone or like a grape candy. This one has been sitting for a couple years and this one is like deep and rich and earthy. I really liked this. This was good. This was a nice performer, like a seven out of 10 in strength. It's not that strong when it's brand new, but this one again had been sitting a while. It was just good. I, if I can get more of this, I will. If I see it on clearance or in a flash sale, I will pick it up. Um, I really like Halloween Town. I like to warm this like once a year. So this is the bar I warmed the day we decorated for Halloween. It was my daughter and I, we were just having a good girls afternoon. We got pedicures, put up the Halloween decorations. And so this was the scent we had going. So that's Halloween Town. And I would definitely recommend that if you see it. 
Next, I did one from the Sense of the Season collection. This is not yet available, but it will be very soon. Caramel Praline Cake, November 1st. This was so good. This is one of my favorite things I've done. This was amazing. Yes, this is like rich, nutty bakery goodness. Kind of reminds me a bit of almond croissant, even on warm, but sweeter. It is much more caramel forward. And this is a caramel note I've not smelled since he used before. This is a new caramel note, I think. This is nice. Yeah, this is a nice, rich, not overly buttery, not overly syrupy sweet either, but sweet, nicely balanced caramel scent with that nice bakery pastry scent with a bit of nuttiness. The nuttiness came to out more at the end. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of that pecan praline port part at the beginning. As this kind of petered out, what was left at the end of it was kind of that pecan note, but it was a nice toasty, roasty pecan. It was beautiful. So I really liked that. This will be a club bar for me, and I do think this was like a medium, well, a five or six out of ten in strength, but not very long lasting. I would say by like four to six hours it hit a wall and then I left it going, but it really was like a very light scent after that. I did let it go, I think, for 12, no, well, no. How long did this go? I think it went for like eight or nine hours, so not very long at all, way less than average. Um, but it was worth it. <laughs> There's a few scents that I'll tolerate short duration from, and this is going to be one of them. I do think this will perform better after it sits a while. This is a fairly fresh pour. I think after this is sat even a few weeks, it's going to be better, but this is a club bar for me. Absolutely love. If you're a bakery lover, you got to try caramel praline cake. That's wonderful. Next, I did Hemingway. This is one I've just been craving lately. This one is kind of a woodsy apple earthy, definitely woodsy, but not a pine tree woodsy. It is like dry wood and like a little bit of cologne and almost like pine needles rather than pine tree. Just a little bit, like just a little bit. Like someone's been outside and they smell like pine needles. Like it's just, it's beautiful. So love Hemingway. This is a great performer, always is. Um, this is a good like seven or eight out of 10 in strength and it goes for at least 24 hours, if not longer in the open layout. I think this would hold up to most open layouts, even if you have a larger space to fill with higher ceilings, I think this would do it. This was a recent bring back my bar, it is not currently available, but I do have this in my club. I love it. Next, I was giving it a bar that was a new release this year, kind of a second chance. So I was melting Make Me Snickerdoodle again. So I only had six cubes in this bar, so I needed something else to put with it. So I had two cubes of birthday wishes. This was a scent a couple years ago, a couple summers ago. This was like a vanilla birthday cake type scent. So I did these two cubes in the kitchen, and then the rest of the open layout I did make me snickerdoodle. It was good, it was very nice. And actually, Birthday Wishes, again, this is a, usually a pretty light bar, but I smelled this over the make me snickerdoodle, even though I had six cubes of this and two cubes of this. And Birthday Wishes is a very light scent, so that was interesting to me. So I could smell the Birthday Wishes. It is a nice kind of vanilla white cake scent. And the make me snickerdoodle, <coughs> is kind of a cinnamon bakery, but the cinnamon is so light. It's not spicy cinnamon. It is just kind of like a cinnamon cookie, I guess. But I also get brown sugar here for sure. That almost reads maple on warm, almost, not quite. It was nice, it's kind of a warm scent. I think if you like cinnamon buttercream, this is along that line. Um, yeah, this is in the catalog right now. So this is kind of our, I would say, general cinnamon bakery scent. This one is neither here nor there for me still. I can't really get a read on this scent. It's okay. I like it enough. It's not one I would club. I just have very, I can't get a good, like, do I like this or not on this scent? This is one that I just, it's it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind it. I'll probably get more. Um, but it's not a must have either. Like I neither love nor hate this. <laughs> That's so unhelpful, but I like it. I don't love it. It's okay. I think this would mix very well with a lot of things. So I think if you want a nice kind of winter, fall, winter mixer, this would be a good one. Almost in place of vanilla bean buttercream. It has just that little tiny edge of spice. <coughs> and I think that's nice for fall, winter mixing. And performance on this was like a one dare. It was about a medium strength, about a day. Very average performer. So again, super average performer, average scent appeal. It's just a very average bar. So that is make me snickerdoodle. 
And this one I did yesterday. And I got to change my warmers because it's now kind of dying out a little bit. This is Woodland Suede. And this was a Bring Back My Bar last winter in January. And I only picked up three bars of this. And I regret that because this is beautiful. This is the perfect like winter before holidays or winter after holidays scent. <clears throat> so for most places, I would say like a November or a January bar. Um, for here, it's an October bar because it's snowing now. But this one is sweet and woodsy and has this beautiful, beautiful rounded suede. And that suede note with age is getting gorgeous. If you have this in your stash from last year, pull it out and smell it because it's gotten good. This is sweet suede with like lots of nice vanilla creaming it out and rounding it out. A bit of woodsiness, but that woodsiness is just mellow. It is not pine tree, it's not astringent, it's not sharp. It is just the smoothest, creamiest, most rounded scent. Gorgeous. I love this one. I wish I had it in my club. That was a mistake. This will be a sensey heartbreak until I can get my hands on it again. So that is Woodland Suede. Then on Thanksgiving Day, I did Spiced Pumpkin from Yankee Candle. This is a gift from my friend Liz Quinn. This one is, I think, like a classic Yankee scent. This one has orange in it for sure. This is like a nice spiced orange. It was mellow and soft. I wanted something that would be company friendly for people who have scent sensitivities and also wouldn't compete with the cooking smells, but would enhance them. And I think this is the perfect choice for that. So this one did kind of enhance the cooking smells. It didn't overpower the turkey cooking and all of that, but you could still smell it. And it complemented it. It was very, very nice. I would say this was like a four or five out of 10 in my open layout, but it wasn't in your face in any way. It was very like, setting the tone without punching you in the face when you walk in the door, but you could smell it. So it was very nice. A nice kind of like background scent without being too light, um, but really nice. It was like a, and again, this one, I thought it was kind of gone at the end of the day, but then I left it going and the next morning I could still smell it. So I think I just went nose blind for a bit. So this was at least 24 hours. So if I could get more spice pumpkin, I would. That was a good one and I would recommend it. So thank you, Liz. Then I did a few mixes. I was trying to do some cozy mixes. Speaking of Yankee, there was a scent they came out with this year called Banana Pumpkin Scone or Pumpkin Banana Scone. It was a pumpkin banana scone scent. And I was trying to find a way to recreate that because we can't, I can't get Yankee Candle here in BC, but I like that scent a lot. Um, so I do have Banana Nut Bread in my club from Scentsy. And I thought, what if I put like another pumpkin bakery with that and I can try to recreate it. So I did Pumpkin Roll with pumpkin with banana with banana nut bread from Sensi. And so I did equal parts in the same warmer dish all over my open layout. So I did four cubes pumpkin roll to four cubes banana nut bread. And it was good. Yeah, that was a nice mix. It wasn't the same as banana pumpkin scone though from Yankee. It just wasn't the same. I can't explain how or why, but it wasn't. Um it started out where the banana pumpkin or banana nut bread was much stronger than pumpkin roll. The banana candy note in this is quite strong out the gate. That did kind of die out over time and they kind of became more balanced after a couple hours. Um, so it was much nicer then, but it just wasn't quite the same as what I was hoping to recreate, but it was very good. I would say worth giving a shot if you have both these bars in your collection. That was pumpkin roll and banana nut bread. It was nice, I would probably do it again. And that was a 24 hour mix, it was good. Um, banana nut bread is not a super long lasting scent. It's a good solid medium out the gate for a while and then it kind of dies off after this one dies off quicker than pumpkin roll banana nut bread's like a 12 hour type scent i would say and pumpkin roll's like a 24. so there are those two the next mix i did was a mix of frosted cinnamon roll with haunted mansion three thumbs up these are both currently available um, frosted cinnamon roll was a scent of the month for september and it's amazing it's also gone into my club three thumbs up is a limited time scent it is currently available right now and this is a very slightly spiced pumpkin bread scent, but like crusty bread. Like I get like French loaf crust, like that kind of hard crust you can knock on. I get that from this with just a bit of pump, like a gentle pumpkin spice. It's so nice. Frosted cinnamon roll is a gooey, gooey cinnamon bun with just the perfect amount of bakery cinnamon. It's so good. These two together were great. I would do that again. I highly recommend that mix. And again, I did one-to-one -one in the same warmer dish all over my open layout. And that was again, I would say 24 hours, but it could have maybe gone a bit longer, maybe 36, but that was good. I would do that again. I would recommend that if you have both these bars in your collection, that was good. And I would say for strength, at least a medium, like a good solid medium. Then I had Cozy Kitchen here. This is one of the currently available bricks. 
and I wanted to do something with this because this one honestly just is not my favorite of the bricks. I don't know why. This one should be a home run for me just based on the fact that I love bakery and I love the notes in this. But it just isn't. It's something, I don't know, I get something almost like sour from it. I don't know what it is. It just, it's weird to me. Um, on warm, it's much better. It gets kind of like an oatmeal tone to it. It smells very much like maple oatmeal, maple brown sugar oatmeal, which isn't a bad scent. It's a good scent. It's just not, it's just not, I don't know. It just isn't, I don't know. It's not my cup of tea. Then we have Scary Good. This is a catalog bar. It's currently available as well. This one is like pumpkin, cinnamon, toasted butterscotch, and vanilla. And this one is just like the most like spiced, gooey, butterscotch, pumpkin spice. There is quite a bit of spice here. I think you do have to like spice. But I wanted the spice in this to kind of counteract some of the very, very over-the-top sweetness of Cozy Kitchen. So I thought maybe pairing clove and cinnamon with this would be good. In this case, I went with Scary Good because it does have the pumpkin and the spice and a bit of sweetness also. This was a good mix. I liked this. If I did it again, I would use more of an equal balance because what I did was one cube of Scary Good in each of my warmers mixed in the same dish with one cube or in in one case like a half of a big cube um but i did it was like a two to one ratio of cozy kitchen to scary good and in the future if i did this again and i probably would do this again if i did it again i would do two cubes scary good like equal ratios two cubes to about two cubes worth of wax of the cozy kitchen that is the trouble with this christmas tree brick style is that all the cubes are very different sizes so it is a bit harder to try to judge how many cubes worth of wax is equivalent to like a regular bar. Um, I think Patricia Gates did a video on that. I haven't watched it yet, but I saw that she did a video on that, on that and I do want to go watch that because um, that is a very good thing to try to check out. So if, if you are trying to figure out cube wise, what is what as far as like ratios, I would go check out her video, Patricia Gates Nose to Toes and see what she says because that's something I'm going to have to do too because yeah, I would say it's much harder to tell what one cube is on these new bricks because they're all vastly different sizes. Yeah, it's just harder to tell. So there's that. Next we have our bedroom. So I did a few different things in there. First up, I did Mint to be Merry. This is the November scent of the month. This will be out November 1st. And this one is really good as long as you like mint. If you're a lover of marshmallow mint, this is very, very, very similar, like 90% the same, at least, especially on warm. On warm, I probably couldn't tell you one from the other. They're very, very close. Um, I did three cubes in my bedroom. I did this in an element warmer and I did three cubes because it seems to be just a little bit lighter on, on cold, like just maybe like a four or five out of 10 in strength. So I thought I'll give it a better chance by using three cubes. So I used three. And it was good. That was a good amount of wax. That was very, very nice. And it did fill the room very nicely. And it filled the room very nicely for like a solid 48 hours, like two days of warming time. Really, really good. I like that a lot. When you first put this in the warmer, you get a bit more of that butter cookie note. And then that really kind of peters out quite quickly. And then what you're left with is this very marshmallow frosting, minty buttercream scent. And the mint then goes away too. So this is a very layered scent in that it kind of goes through several phases. You, you start out pretty much with what you smell is what you get at the very beginning for a few hours. And then the butter cookie note goes away and you're left with like this marshmallow mint frosting scent. And that goes for quite a while. Then after like 24 hours, the mint kind of tapers off and takes a backseat and disappears too. And you're left with just this very soft marshmallow frosting type scent. It's beautiful. It's really, really pretty. I love this. So this is one that's going in my club. I don't know how this will age because I just got this. However, the vanilla marshmallow note in this tends to age well. Marshmallow mint that this reminds me so much of also ages well. I can confirm that. I've had bars for years that are still good. This will probably discolor. The white wax with this kind of marshmallow vanilla note is probably going to turn a bit brownie weird colors over time. It's still going to be good. Um, yeah, this is going to be a club bar for me. I love that. So marshmallow or mint to be merry. Highly recommend as long as you like mint um, and you like sweet scents. This is a must have and a good performer. Naughty, super strong. I wouldn't try it in open layout, um, but I would say it goes for quite a while in like a bedroom size space. It went for, yeah, multiple days. So that was a good one. 
Next up, I switched warmers. I put in my little retro reindeer warmer in the bedroom just because it was kind of wintry and cute and I wanted to put that up. Um, so into that, I put three cubes of can candy. <laughs> so into that, I put three cubes of candy cane buttercream. This is the bar from last year when it came out, but this is currently available in the catalog as well with regular packaging. This is just the kind of special box packaging. So this bar has been sitting for a year. It's still very light, like three out of 10 in strength on cold. On warm, not much better, honestly. Um, I think that is also in part due to the retro reindeer warmer. I do get better luck with this in like bulb warmers. In the retro reindeer warmer, it is only a eight watt element warmer, which is the lowest wattage sense he ever does for an element warmer, I believe. Um, I will say upon using my retro reindeer warmer, I did the haul with that a couple videos ago, or maybe last video. Um, I did my big haul with my holiday stuff and the retro reindeer was in there. I will say now after using that warmer, I don't personally recommend that warmer. Um, it is the least, I don't usually, I'm not usually super picky with warmer performance because I do tend to have multiple warmers in a space. So for, in general, like it, they all work about equally well in my opinion. There's a couple I have out of all of my warmers that are better than others. And there's a couple that are weaker than others, but overall warmers are kind of just warmers in my opinion. They're all more or less similar in performance. Retro Reindeer is a poor performer in my room. I would say if you're looking at Retro Reindeer, it would be a very suitable backup warmer. If you want a second warmer in a room, I would not use it to scent an entire room. Um, so I have moved it because in my bedroom, I do only have one warmer. So I'm going to have to either find a spot somewhere else to put Retro Reindeer in my bedroom so it can be a backup warmer, or it's gonna to have to just be put away. And I've gone back to um, the Diamond Milk Glass Element Warmer in there right now. That is a much better performing element warmer and it's doing much better. So Retro Reindeer, just a update on that warmer. I would not recommend it unless it's gonna be a backup warmer. It is very, very cute. It's super petite, very cute. Maybe for a very small kid's room or something like that, it would be good where you don't want a very strong scent. But for a moderate sized, moderate to large sized bedroom, I would say probably, probably not unless it's a backup warmer. Um, so yeah, Retro Reindeer, not the best warmer I've had. Um, but Candy Cane Buttercream, not the best bar I've had either, honestly. Very good scent. The scent appeal here is great. It's a very nice balance of peppermint to vanilla. Um, I would just say it's on the very light side. I have had better luck in the past mixing peppermint, Perfect Peppermint, which is currently available, with Vanilla Bean Buttercream, also currently available. So if you want a bit of a better performing version of Candy Cane Buttercream, I think you're better off to buy a bar of pepper, Perfect Peppermint and a bar of vanilla bean buttercream and mix those two one to one in the same warmer. That does just a little bit better in strength to my, in my opinion. So that is that one. This one in my bedroom was like a one or two out of 10 in strength and it only went for like maybe 10 hours. I almost didn't smell it. It was very, very weak. So there's that one. Probably not a repurchase for me. Um, but again, I think part of that was the warmer in this case because I have had slightly better luck with that particular bar in my open layout even. Um, because I have hotter warmers out here. Next, I did one that was from the Easter collection. This is Pinkberry Fluff. This is not available. This was a marshmallow, almost like perfumey feminine type scent. Yeah, this is like a feminine perfume, cuddly cozy marshmallow scent. It's very, very nice. This was in my club for a time. I did take it out and I don't know. I, it's because I wasn't reaching for it a whole lot. I think the perfumey note throws me off a bit. This is very nice. It's on the lighter side when you get it brand new. Again, it does seem to settle into itself a bit with some age sitting for a few months. Um, this was a like solid medium strength. It's never gonna hit you in the face, but it goes for again, a long time. It's kind of one of those like light medium goes for a long time scents. This was like a three day scent. It went for a good long time. And this one does discolor the warmer quite a bit. So you may find you need to, um, clean your warmer out after using this because that marshmallow oil does seem to, to turn quite brown on the bottom of the dish. But this was very nice. Um, very nicely, you could smell it just the right amount. I'd wanna smell it when you walk in the room. It's not gonna blow you out of the room. It's a nice bedroom scent and that it's not gonna give you a headache. It's just kind of a, like a medium strength. That's what I want for a bedroom. I like, I usually like a medium strength in the bedroom because anything more than that is gonna give me a headache if it's, if it's something I'm smelling all night. So. Yeah, that was a good one. I do have a few more bars of this and I'm glad I do because I do really enjoy this one. But it, I did take it out of my club just because it, it's not one I reach for a whole ton. Um, and you do have to use double the wax you think you need.
for a bedroom. So I use four cubes of this for the bedroom and it does quite well then, but you do need to double the wax. So that one's very long lasting at about a medium strength. So then last night I changed the wax again and I did a little bit of a mix. I felt like white out because it was snowing out and I just wanted something kind of like wintry, but not really Christmassy. So white out was it. And this one is mint apple with like a hint of pine. And it's mostly mint and apple. It's a very sweet apple. This is more like the idea of an apple than an actual apple. Um, and the mint is very soft here. This is quite a light scent. Some people get very poor performance from this bar. I get it. It is a lighter bar for sure, but I'd say it's more of like a three or four to 10 in my room. And I thought I would do two cubes of this. And I thought to give it a bit of a boost, especially with longevity, I would put in one cube of mint to be merry. So this is again, the same November scent of the month. So I did one cube mint to be merry with two cubes of white out. And it was nice. I will say I can't smell the mint to be merry. The white out is overpowering it. So if you wanted to smell both, I would say do a more of an equal mix. But yeah, it's very, very nice. This is kind of a like wintergreen gum type mint. It's it's really, really nice and soft though. And it does have that apple to sweeten it up. So I really like white out. This is in my club for the time being. Um, so there's that one. And mint to be merry will be going in my club as well. So this is still in. I can't say how long it lasts, but at least a day. So there's that. Next in the bedroom, I did a cube from Teddy Bees of London Fog. This was a gift from my friend Becky and I have gone on to purchase more of this as well. This is Earl Grey tea, lavender milk with a hint of boardwalk marshmallow. And this is one of the best scents I've, I've found this year. This is phenomenal. Um, oh my gosh, it's so good. It is lavender Earl Grey with just the right amount of marshmallow. And this one is such a good performer. Um, this one does quite well. Of all the Teddy Bees scents I've tried, this is the strongest performer I've had. Um, one cube of this in my bedroom goes for days at like a solid medium strength, like at least a, at least a five, maybe a six out of 10 in strength um, for like three, four days. It's amazing. Love this one. So that is London Fog and I love it. So there's that. Next we have I Heart Vanilla Spiced Apples, also from Teddy Bees. This was a very much one evening type scent. This is I Heart Vanilla blended with juicy apples, cinnamon, clove, and vanilla bean. This one was a one evening scent. However, it was very good. This is a very creamy vanilla scent. The spiced apples are kind of a background element of this. The spice, the cinnamon and clove are barely there. This is a very vanilla sweet scent. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that. It's not one I would probably repurchase though. Next we have vanilla pumpkin and cashmere. Again, this one is beautiful. This one is vanilla pumpkin, marshmallow fluff, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. I love her cashmere cream note. I have another order coming, I think next month or the month after from her. And I ordered everything I could with that cashmere cream note. This is beautiful. It is sweet. It's a little wee bit woodsy, but it's mostly sweet, um, cuddly. The pumpkin is there, but not overly so. You could warm this any time of year. It doesn't scream pumpkin. Um, the vanilla birch, you can definitely smell. It's lovely. The marshmallow is there adding so much sweetness and that cashmere cream is just beautiful. I love this scent. That's, that's one I would get more of if I could. And then we have pumpkin cookie jar. This one is oatmeal, brown sugar, vanilla, pumpkin, sugar cookies, and a hint of maple. And this one again, I would get more if I could. It's beautiful. This one again though is kind of a one evening scent. I would say like six hours max, um, but it was a good one. That is the one thing I will say about Teddy Bees is in general, it doesn't last quite as long as most Scentsy, with the exception of London Fog, which goes for a million years. So there's that one. Then in my office, I did a few things as well. I did the sample from Sara of Country Plum, which is a Scentsy bar in region three, or it was at one point. This is Plum, Oak, Sandalwood, and Cabernet. And this was nice. This was like almost like a fresh spin on a plum scent. It was really nice. I didn't get the oak or sandalwood so much, but I got the plum and the cabernet with almost like a fresh something or other. And I don't know what the fresh note was, but it was very, very nice. So that was a nice office melt. This was like a 24 hour one. I did four cubes in the office and it was a nice kind of like nice background plum scent. Enjoyed that. I don't know if I would have purchased it if I could. It was, it was nice, but yeah. Then I did Yankee Candle Autumn Leaves. Again, this is kind of a light one. This is a gift from my friend Emily from Emily Loves Wax. Um, I enjoyed this one. I may seek it out in a candle if I saw it, but the scent was really good. So there's that one, kind of a one dayer. And then I did, this is Dark and Devious. This is currently available um, from Scentsy. 
I had this bar sitting around for a while and someone, when I mentioned this was available quite a few videos ago, someone was like, oh, that one smells like soup to me. And I was like, I'm glad it doesn't smell like soup to me because I don't get soup from this at all. I get like a kind of like licorice star anise vanilla scent and I like it. And then I pulled out my aged bar that's been sitting for a couple of years since this last came out. And I was like, okay, I can kind of see where she might've gotten like vegetable soup, something or other. So I put it in the warmer in my office, two cubes. And I went back in there like a couple hours later and I was like, it smells like minestrone in here, like just straight up minestrone. Um, it was weird. <laughs> Like, not bad, but it was so weird. Um, so I made my husband go in there. I'm like, does it, like, go in there and tell me what it smells like? And he was like, I don't know. It just smells like wax. I don't know. And I'm like, no, but, like, does it smell like minestrone? And he was like, no. <laughs> it does. So, I don't know. After I heard her say it smells like soup, I think my brain is just now reprogrammed for the scent. Um, but I, I know I'm not the only one. I think Liz Quinn said she got the soup thing from this one as well. So I think, especially the longer this one sits, the more those kind of savory notes come out. And I think that is what's making this smell like soup, is some of those savory spices and herbs. I think that's making it smell like minestrone. It, it's like a very tomato-based vegetable soup is what I'm getting. Um, it's not awful, it's just very unusual. So I do like that one fresh, I don't recommend aging it. Then I did a sample for my friend Becky. This is Irresistible from Harper James. This is zucchini bread, pumpkin buttercream, clove, smoke, and nutmeg. And this one was very good. This was a nice kind of pumpkin, like, bakery scent. Did this in the office as well. Again, kind of a one day or 24 hours, but really, really pleasant. I enjoyed that a lot. So thank you, Becky. And that is what I've been warming over the last two or three weeks now. Um, it's been a while since I did one of these. So yeah, at least since Thanksgiving. And that was a couple weeks ago now. So it's been a little bit so thanks so much for watching i will talk to you guys in the next video i would love to hear what you're watching and when you expect snow where you live um, i know some places don't get snow at all but if you do expect snow when does it usually start for you guys um, this is about right for us like mid to late october is about average often though it'll snow a, a bit around this time of year and then it'll melt for a couple weeks and then it'll come back like sporadically and then melt this year it is here and it is staying like it is cold for the foreseeable future it's not gonna melt and we're getting more on top of it. So I think it's just straight up winter now here. So that's what we're doing here. I'd love to know what things are like where you are weather wise and what you've been warming in these last couple weeks. So thanks so much for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.